Hey guys, Dr. Casey Schnabe here and welcome back to Movement Every Day. I'm here with Cole and uh, he's going to be a future chiropractor. He's graduating in December of 2017, so this year. So we're really excited for him to get out into the profession and, and help so many patients. Uh, he's super good with his hands. He works well with his patients. And uh, today he's actually going to help me uh, show you a exercise that I like to show my patients as well. Today we're going to show you the wall glides uh, that we can do at home. Uh, you can do it with or without a band. I'm going to show you it with a band today. And we're going to work on scapulothoracic movement. Uh, your scapula, or another name for that is your shoulder blade, sits on your, uh, your rib cage on the back of your, uh, uh, right on the back of your ribs. On, on your back and we want to make sure that uh, that scapula is moving properly if it doesn't move properly we can see it sometimes in patients one side moves uh, a little bit different than the other side we can see different uh, muscles firing uh, at different times when in all actuality all this stuff should be moving in unison and it should look symmetrical on each side so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you to kind of get you to see what it looks like and we're gonna start right now okay <laughs> All right, let's get started. I first wanna show you an image right here that's gonna pop up on the screen. This is what the shoulder blade looks like. It's what the shoulder blade and how it articulates or connects with the, the rib cage in your back. Now, this shoulder blade actually does not um, connect to the rib cage itself. It's only just the job of that shoulder blade is to be there and sit there, but there's muscles that connect and hold that shoulder blade in place. Now your shoulder is one of your mobile, one of the biggest areas of the body that is super mobile. So there's a lot of stuff going on with your shoulder, believe it or not, and it has to work properly. If this shoulder blade and that, that scapula thoracic junction where the scapula connects or inter, uh, articulates with the, the, the posterior rib heads, that they have to move properly. If they don't, it's because of the musculature and, or, or it could be because there's adhesions. There could be a lot of reasons why this scapula doesn't glide properly on the thoracic rib cage. So if, uh, if we detect that as a chiropractor or any other physician detects that, we wanna try to address this because this is what can cause that shoulder pain. It can cause us to have those rounded over shoulders. It can cause us to have all sorts of issues. So we first wanna assess it, which I'll bring Cole here in a second. We'll see how his shoulder blades move and then we're gonna perform the, the wall glide. So Cole, come right in. So I'm gonna have uh, Cole come right up to the wall and he's gonna get into position. He's gonna put his arms right on the wall just like this, okay? Then what he's gonna do is he's gonna set his scapula. So all he's gonna do is try to kind of set his scapula back and down just a little bit so we're in a neutral position. We can see that Cole has a relatively flat back. So what I wanna do before we perform this exercise is to hollow out the, uh, hollow the uh, arch the back a little bit. And he's just gonna arch the back just a little bit, trying to kind of fill up this area that was flat. Now we can see there's a nice curve here, okay? Then from this position, he's gonna wall glide up the wall, push his arms up off the wall while he's pushing into the wall, also kind of externally rotating into the wall as well. And what he's trying to do is trying to get these shoulder blades that we can see so well on Cole, and we're trying to get them to, to rotate from uh, the, the normal position up and forward. All right, then he's gonna come down, and we're trying to get his shoulder blades to rock back into that neutral position. Then he's gonna go back up, and he's try and I'm just showing you with my hands right now just to see the motion so you guys can see it at home and he's going to come back down and we're trying to rock those shoulder blades back and down so now I want him to do a couple times and he's going to be doing it as I'm showing some things we can see that there's a little difference uh, from left to right with Cole um, we can see that this side on this left upper trap area his levator um, it's a little bit more developed than this right side we can also see that this shoulder blade rides a little bit lower and it's a little bit delayed on the upper upward rotation. So this would be someone that I definitely want to be doing this exercise with because I want to make sure we try to get that as symmetrical as possible. Uh, another thing that I'm going to grab right here is a band. And if you want to make this harder, which is awesome, you get to uh, work on external rotators, is he's going to put this between his arms, just like this. He's going to ex uh, extend and rotate out a little bit into this position. And now he's gonna keep that, do the same exact movement, again, setting those shoulder blades, going up, and now we can see those shoulder blades going up and then come back down. All right, I just do want you to perform this. Uh, you're all set, thank you. Um, I want you to perform this uh, a few times throughout the day. 
Um, I'd say at least, you know, three sets of 15 uh, and just try to warm up those shoulders. Make sure that scapulothoracic articulation, that joint area um, is moving properly. Um, I would do this if you're an overhead athlete. I would do this if you're about to do some shoulder presses at the gym. I would do this really just kind of warm up this upper quarter area. And it also helps retrain those, that, 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 that shoulder complex. I hope that helped. As always, leave comments below. Like, share, do everything. I love when you guys are kind of interacting with me, even if it's just to say, hey, nice job, or say, hey, maybe let's look at, you know, teach us something about the hip, teach us something about the knee, teach us something about the ankle. I feed off you guys, so the more you can uh, let me know about your ideas, the better. Until next week, and like always, remember, movement's everything, and movement's life.